on brothers and sisters. So Abraham Accords, I've said many times before, is a big part of the agreement that Antichrist is going to strengthen. An agreement with many. And that is what Abraham Accords is becoming. So this article ties into that again. Netanyahu, Israel is approaching a quantum leap with Saudi Arabia. Prime Minister lays out a vision of a train system linking Israel to Saudi Arabia via Jordan. Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu said Israel is making strides towards a quantum leap in regional relations, which he predicted would culminate in full diplomatic ties and trade with Saudi Arabia. Speaking at an event held in Jerusalem by the Conference of Presidents of Major American Jewish Organizations, Netanyahu warned of the danger of Iran acquiring nuclear weapons, a danger that has brought Israel closer to former enemies in the Middle East. If Iran achieves its goals of reaching nuclear weapons, it puts the future of Israel at risk. It puts the future of world peace at risk. Sorry, it's not like there's a lot of world peace at the moment. There's been a growing understanding amongst world leaders and a growing understanding between U.S. and Israel of the dangers of Iran. Israel will do what it has to do to prevent Iran from getting nuclear weapons. Netanyahu touted the Abraham Accords not only as a bulwark against Iran, but proof that Israel can secure peace with the Arab world without a final status agreement with the Palestinian Authority. The premise used to be, you cannot expand the peace with Arab countries, with the Arab world, without first having peace with the Palestinians. Now there's only one problem. The Palestinians don't want peace with Israel. They want peace without Israel. A quantum leap is expanding that circle of peace which would be peace with Saudi Arabia. This may come through gradual steps, Netanyahu said. I think it'll be a historic turning point and as big as the Abraham Accords. And I think it would launch a historic change in Israel's position in the Middle East and the world. That's how big it is on his agenda. Following this leap in ties, Netanyahu envisioned the transportation network running north-south from northern Israel to Saudi Arabia. The first thing is to connect the peninsula with the port of Haifa by rail and then go through the spine of the Arabian Peninsula through Jordan and connect the Haifa rail like we've already built. This could allow cargo to go from the Arabian Peninsula to Europe and back without crossing any choke points. There's no reason why there can't also be an oil pipeline that does exactly the same thing because they're officially selling oil now and Europe is officially buying. So more hook in the jaw for Russia and its coalition to come against Israel very soon for her riches. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.